the spinos ear tick is probably the most frightening, um, intimidating tick that we find in pets or people. Um, it's an incredibly uh, traumatic infestation. So the spinos ear tick is different than the other common ticks that we deal with in veterinary medicine in that it's actually considered a soft tick. When we say hard tick or soft tick, we're referring to where they group out taxonomically and the fact that the hard ticks have a sputum that protects them from, from compression. The ear tick is a soft tick. Now that doesn't mean that it's a fluffy tick because it's covered with spines and it's very um, uh, painful when it infests a, a host, but it doesn't have a distinct sputum and it has a more amorphous morphology. It prefers to live deep in the ear canal, as you would expect from its common name, the ear tick. And so you'll find larval and nymphal ticks burrowed deep in the ear canal where they're feeding and molting. Um, and the, the infestations are rather long-lived, they'll last for several weeks. If that weren't traumatic enough, that there's several ticks um, attached deep in the ear canal, they're also covered with very sharp spines, and that, those spines create trauma to the tissue in the ear canal. Um, we'll see uh, hematomas, hemorrhage in the ears, and, and the dogs and cats will scratch at themselves quite aggressively. Fortunately, ear ticks are not known to transmit any pathogens to animals or people, um, but the trauma that they cause, because often um, infestations involve several individual ticks. So we see spinous ear ticks much more in the western United States. We don't have evidence that there's endemic populations in the eastern half of the U.S., and it really prefers the southwest. So we'll often find ear ticks on horses that have that live or have traveled to the um, western U.S. or in dogs and cats in those regions, and sometimes even people. When a dog or a cat is examined for ear ticks by a veterinarian, they'll use an otoscope, an instrument that will allow them to look into the ear canal, and there they can visualize these several um, ticks covered with spines that are creating um, trauma and discharge and sometimes hemorrhage in the ear canal. They'll then remove those ticks and can readily identify um, what ticks they are by those sharp, prominent spines that cover their entire cuticle, the entire outside of their body.